presiding officer. Um, before I start, I'd just like to say I really want to associate myself with the, the uh, comments from Liam MacArthur about through care. I've not touched on it in my speech, but I really do agree with them on all, all points and much of what, what John Finney said as well. Well, much of what I'm about to say has actually been said in the opening speeches, but I believe that it is worth repeating because it is a success story. The overall um, picture shows that Scotland has made great progress in reducing violence and there has been a sustained long-term reduction in violent crime in Scotland over the last decade. And I believe this is the result of the Scottish Government adopting a public health approach to tackling violence as advocated by the World Health Organisation. The emphasis is on prevention activity, uh, such as education and early intervention, which we, we know always works, uh, partnership working with the NHS, local authorities, community groups and appropriate law enforcement um, as necessary. By continuing to tackle the causes of violence, not just the symptoms, we've broken down the relentless cycle of violence and reduced the terrible impact that it has had on individuals, families and communities. Presiding officer, I was born in Glasgow, uh, a city which was once known as No Mean City. Uh, as we've heard, it was described as the murder capital of Europe by the World Health Organization in 2005 due to gang violence and its aggressive reputation. Thankfully, we all know that's no longer the case due to the progress that's been made, which has seen Glasgow's murder rate drop by 60%. Even the World Economic Forums praised Scotland's effort in reduce reducing violence, with the new approach seeing violent crime in Scotland decrease by 49%, almost half in the last decade. The Scottish Government is fully committed to preventing and reducing violence, investing over £14 million in violence prevention measures and programmes since 2008. A key part of the, the government's work to tackle violence, as we've been hearing, is through the Police Scot Scottish Violence Reduction Unit, SBRU, uh, which is a national, renowned national centre of expertise in violence. It aims to reduce violent crime and behaviour by working with partner agencies to achieve long-term societal and attitudinal changes and by focusing on enforcement to contain and manage individuals who carry weapons or are involved in violent behaviour. The SVRU began as the Violent Reduction Unit established by Strathclyde Police in 2005 to target all forms of violent behaviour, in particular knife crime and weapon carrying among young men in, around Glasgow, in and around Glasgow. Following the success of the VRU, the programme was extended nationwide and the SVRU has been funded by the government since 2008 to the tune of £12 million. Pounds. Yes. Liam Kerr. Thank you, President Officer. Thank the member for the intervention. But doesn't the member share my concern that so little is being done to reduce violent crime in the most deprived areas, such that there's a victimisation rate that remains fundamentally unchanged for a decade? Rona Mackay. I'm just not sure where, how you can evidence that, that so little has been done in the less deprived areas. I don't know where that's coming from. I think a, a lot of focus has been on the deprived areas. Um, Similar programmes exist around the world uh, but are not delivered through the police. Violence reduction programmes in Chicago operate through the university, for example, while similar programmes in New York and Baltimore are administered through the city's health departments. So the SBRU teams are a mixture of researchers, police officers, civilian staff and former offenders who've turned their lives around and are now succeeding in helping others to do the same. Its early pioneers, John Carnahan and Karen McCluskey, will, I believe, go down in history as being instrumental in eradicating the unacceptably high levels of violence in Scotland. They had a monumental task of making a difference, and they did, by offering hope to so many disengaged and disadvantaged young people. They offered them hope, and that was what they needed to turn their lives around. The SBRU introduced the Mentors in Violence Prevention Programme after seeing its success in, in America, again, learning from good, good practice. Um, and MPV trains students the skills to safely intervene and prevent violence in Scotland. Presiding officers, the Minister said, we learned only this week that Scotland's approach to tackling violence has been adopted by other areas of the UK. London's Mayor, Sadiq Khan, has already been incorporating elements of the public health approach in his knife crime strategy and a violence reduction unit has been set up in a similar model, model to our own. Presiding officer, earlier this month, I held an event in Parliament to highlight the work of Professor Ross Ducher, Assistant Dean of the University of the West of Scotland, who's researching a radical new approach to rehabilitating and healing violent offenders in Denmark. 
Professor Duker is a Scottish criminologist known primarily for his work on gangs, masculinity, street culture, violence and gang desistance, as well as policing procedural, procedural justice and focused deterrent strategies. He's also the author of a new book called Gangs and Spirituality. His work has spanned across three continents of the world, having worked with the most marginalized gang members in the streets, in youth clubs, and in secure accommodation in prisons. The event in Parliament focused on groundbreaking new work on the healing effect of yoga, meditation, and breathing to prevent offending, with members of the Danish Breathe Smart program demonstrating the technique. To say the, the event was fascinating was an understatement. We heard from Jerry Rasmussen, a self-confessed former violent criminal whose life has been turned around by this practice. He was lost, had a high ACEs count, and had only known a life of violence and criminality, but through the patience of the Breathe Smart team, he started to live again. It was emotional and uplifting to see the real man behind the formerly macho, defensive, and desperately unhappy offender he once was. To use a cliche, it restored my faith in human nature and reinforced my view that we can and we must find alternatives to reducing violent behavior and reoffending. An organization called The Art of Living provides classes and programs to individual and organizations throughout the UK. Their vision is a stress-free, violence-free world, and who wouldn't want this? In conclusion, presiding officer, I'm proud that Scotland is at the forefront of tackling violence. Of course, we must never get complacent and there will always be work to do, but we have come a long way since the days of no mean city. Thank you.